Good afternoon everyone, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a QA and a session on my Discord server. If you do want to be a part of my monthly Q&As that I'm going to be doing, click the link in the description down below and join my Discord server and I'll be doing this again in May 2023. Let's get into this Q&A. Okay, let's get this event started. Hello everyone. We're here. It's the event. So, if you um, request to speak, there should be a request to speak button. Uh, and also, let me know if you guys can hear me. Uh, there should be a request to speak button, and if you press that, then I'll uh, then it will let you speak. If you don't want to speak, still request it, and then just tell me in the messages tab um, that you want to use the chat, uh, the messages. Uh, so yeah, if you press, you should see uh, a button that says request to speak. Just waiting for you guys to do that. And then Hello? Hello, I can hear you. Well, what's the question you want to ask, mate? Right. Put in. I want to ask, Go on. Whatever, whatever happened to, like, legit survival? Uh, well, we just finished that up, uh, so basically how the project works is we started it in January, and as we go on for, uh, till April the 23rd, oh, he left. Okay, um, thank you for leaving, I'll just answer the question. So, um, basically, uh, it goes on from January to April, and at April 21st is when the round closes, and as of tomorrow, you guys will be able to download the map, and you'll be able to play on the map that we've just been on. Um, so yeah, anyone else got any, uh, questions, like request to speak? Okay, go on, Cam, what's your question? Do you think that you could, do you think someone could beat Doom Slayer? Oh, um, I saw you guys were talking about this before we got the Q&A started, and quite frankly, I don't know what that is. Um, <laughs> I've no, I don't know what it is, I'll be honest with you. Um, so we do have a question from It's Ye Boy Lol from earlier on. So, he wants proof that I'm subscribed to Legit Survival. So, well, let me put a picture up on screen. So you guys, none of you guys in the, in this, uh, will know, will know that I'm subscribed, if I'm the evidence, until I, um, post this video. Alright, Cam, I'm going to give you, I'll let you ask your second question, because you said you got four. Then we'll go to over. But yeah, shout outs to all the people in it. Um, okay, so, this was, with, um, <laughs> this is going to be embarrassing. Um, it was like 2021, I wanted to know how you, um, play around with zip files and get the, uh, zip file, uh, get the MC out on our zip file. And, uh, Legit Survival, uh, video came up about it, and that's basically how I discovered his channel. And I just put in the comments, hey, man, do you want to collab at some point? And, um, from there, he basically was astonished, astonished, is if that's even a word, that I asked for a collab, because he said no one's ever asked him for a collab before. So he was well up for it, and since then, we've obviously collabed on many different things. Coast Village, Coastal Village 2, Torchland Dirt, I did a series on that, um, and I did, uh, what was that I did? Planet 1138, right, so we'll go to Obear now, so... So I did cut that question out of the video that Obear did, so apologies for that, but I didn't feel comfortable putting it in the video. But let's hear Cam's next question. Okay, Cam, what's your next question? What do you think about, uh, what was, what do you think about Planet 1138? Um, so that's, obviously I'm, I'm going to count that as two questions, but you can still ask as many as you want, as I said. Um, so, Planet 1138 was a very good map, and it's definitely my favourite map compared to, uh, Coastal Village that we did last year. And my favourite part, <laughs> there's too many good parts of it, um, but I think that my favourite part of Coast Village, uh, not Coast Village, <laughs> um, was definitely, it's gotta be, uh, the, like, the final, like, couple of weeks where I built the planet, I built the Legit Survival History Museum, that's kind of when I put my most effort into it, um, and then I spent longer on videos, and I didn't just rush, I, I spent a couple weeks on each video that I was producing, uh, we got a few live streams in, and there should be a new video out for Planet One Three at some point. So I can't really say my favorite uh part of it. I've got a couple, 
But yeah, it was definitely a very good experience. You got, I guess, since Oba hasn't put his hand up again, you can ask another question, Cam. Uh, what do you think about... <sighs> okay, so he has told you guys, I assume he's... Has he, has he announced the theme? Because he told me what the theme is. So I assume he's announced it to you as well. Just so I'm sure before I say anything I shouldn't say. Yeah, okay. Um, so I do have a general idea of what I'm going to do. Obviously, we need to wait till 1.20 comes out. Uh, okay. I know he said about saying it, but I wasn't sure if he'd said it or not. Because he said it to me earlier on. Um, so we're looking at, like, I'm looking at doing, like, wait, one more, one, when 1.20 comes out, I'm going to help Droid find a seed for what he wants. He's given me some criteria. And I'm not going to go into too many details on what my plan, my base plan and stuff like that is going to be for the next, like, realm. But I will tell you this, I'm uh, I might crash the realm um, when I do it. Uh, and I've told Droid that I might crash the realm. So he's like, oh, okay, we'll have to see. Might have to get you, get you to hop on uh, before you open the realm to before so you can do the laggy bit. The bit that crashes you. No, uh, it's a surprise cam. Uh, it might, it's something to do with a lot of sand. We'll say that much. Dropping a lot of sand. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's one of the questions, yeah. So, Oba, have you got any more questions for me? Or are we alright to move on to Cam's final question? So the final question is, what do you think about my Cam Inc. business? Um... At first, I thought it was a bit, um, oh, I'm going to make an enemy here. I thought it was a bit wacky, um, because I wasn't at first on board having different businesses and you having a currency in the realm. Um, but I, it, it came to grow on me because obviously I got to know you and everybody else a little bit better. And I started to understand why you guys wanted currency and stuff like that for trading and stuff. <laughs> um, so it was... A lot of uh, time for me to get like understand why you guys like the idea of having currency and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, the plan is to do the Q and A at the end of each month, so it's not all okay. Go on, Cam. Uh, so obviously, this is the thirtieth of uh, April. One year ago, what happened a year ago, Oba? Um, okay, give me a second. Uh, so, like, obviously each month doesn't last 30 days, sometimes it's 28, sometimes it's 29, some days it's 31 days, so it will be the last day of every month I do it, unless that day is a weekday, I will do it on the weekends, because obviously, like, a lot of my viewers are American, so, uh, they are always at school when I'm at home, in the week, um, so yeah, All right, let me, um, invite over to speak. Hello? Okay, I can't hear you again. What do you think of Cact Cactus King? Should probably explain it. Should probably explain who Cactus King is and like what he did. So, I might make a separate video on the Cactus King war at some point if uh, Cactus King is okay with that. I'll probably have to DM Cactus King. Um. But at the end of Planet 1138, uh, if you didn't know, me and Cactus King had a bit of a rivalry. Um, but we did, I, we uh, settled an agreement he would leave my land. Um, and then I decided to expand my cactus farm, which there is a bit of lore in that in my little quest uh, to get my items. Um, so I expanded my cactus farm to help Cactus King out. I'm not 100% sure what happened to the cactus raid. Uh, I did notice a tiny bit start, but I didn't really see much of it. Um, I only saw a lot of it around the, like, Cactus Walker, I think it was. Uh, and the way that Cactus King embraced the lore of it uh, was pretty good. It's quite similar to Droid's lore, where he is and he didn't come with us to Planet 1138. He, um... He was already there. He's like a droid or whatever it was. Uh, something like that. He's already on the planet, 1138. Um, and Cactus King was obviously already on the planet. And he saw us taking all the cactus away to make it safer. 
which is why Cactus King wanted to strike back. So yeah, uh, Cactus King lore was pretty fun. Um, I obviously didn't really get chan much chance to help out with it because I did take a little bit of break it, right at the end of the realm. I finished what I had to do and then I took a bit of time away for a bit of personal reasons. Um, but yeah, I assume that's everybody's questions. Let me know if you have any more questions before I end off the Q&A session, guys. This is going to be so controversial. Um, so, let's, um, let's go back and deep dive it. So, 1.16 was my favourite Minecraft update at the moment. And I was all with the people saying that 1.20 was awful and it was going to be the worst Minecraft update. Um, I think Village and Pillager is pretty underwhelming, in my opinion. Um, so I'm going to put, I'm going to say that 1.20 is my favorite update ever, um, because it adds so much exploration, exploration to the overworld. Um, and it, I, it's 1.20 seals off the caves and cliffs update. So in my eyes, this is caves and cliffs part four with some bonus features, but like 1.20. 1.17 added all the mini features, 1.18 added the generation, 1.19 added the War Nation City, 1.20 added archaeology and another cliff biome, which was the Cherry Grove. So more or less, this was Caves and Cliffs Part 4, and I was a big lover of Caves and Cliffs Part, uh, Caves and Cliffs as a whole. So it, I'm going to count it as another Caves and Cliffs Part 4, but now we can move on to the future of Minecraft and we can kind of phase away from Caves and Cliffs. Um, I think the devs kind of went a bit over the top with what they were going to do for Caves and Cliffs. They should have done like a cave update then the Cliffs update and split into a couple of updates rather than doing it all in one go because now we have to wait. We've had to sacrifice four updates to one big update. Uh, they did say that 1.21 was going to be bigger than 1.20, so are we going to get an end update? Are we going to get a new dimension? I don't know. So, I think we're just about done here. If anyone else has got any more questions, let me know. Um, but yeah, drop your, get, drop your, uh, requests in the comments what you think 1.21 is going to be, uh, and what you think, uh, of the next couple of updates are going to be. I've seen you, it's you. Uh, okay, obed has got another question. Hello. People say that the desert update is going to be next. They said that it's going to be a oh, pretty big update. I can't see them doing a big update. The desert update isn't very big. So if the next update's pretty big, it's not just going to be a desert. It's going to be all those biomes they didn't do from the mob votes. Yeah. So that's pretty interesting. Um, I do want the end update because I think... Uh, yeah, I think that would be interesting, Cam. Uh, thank you for your que uh, question, Oba. Um, they said, like, there's a lot of people going around saying that 1.9 uh, was the end up was the end update. And they're saying that the nether was the last dimension they were going to update before adding the new dimension. Because when 1.16 was coming around, they said they wouldn't add a new dimension until... All the other dimensions are updated. And a lot of people are now saying that the end update has already been counted as being updated. But I think I've got a strong belief because the community, well, a lot of the community really wants that end update. Even though they hadn't planned for it, um, they're going to do it anyway. Yes, I agree, Cam. Okay, it's, have you got another question, it's, or is it just the same question as I've already answered? Let me know. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I want like some sort of forest, um, added to the end. Um, some like, I don't know, maybe like a purplish wood. I think I was talking to Itzy about it the other day. Um, but yeah, I think that we need some sort of new boss in the end. Like, if you kind of venture around the end and. At some point, it'll just randomly spawn, which would be pretty interesting. Also, one thing I want in the end update is, you know, all the different end aisles need to be different height ranges. So, some will be lower down. It's all going to be not on one level. It'll be all scattered up and down the dimension. So, from 0 to 256. Um, 
because they didn't extend the height limit in the end and nether in caves and cliffs so it only from 0 to 256 unless obviously they could um increase the height limit in um the end and one thing we do need is we need the java nether terrain to come over to bedrock because i absolutely love the nether terrain in java look it's different in bedrock i'm not sure why when the 1.16 update came out 1.16 added the same stuff just different generation if that makes sense so let's see what it's he's gonna say invite to speak hola hello um red or blue which color are you in tf2 tf2 what's that team fortress 2 oh what's team fortress Never mind. Okay. Um, more diamond stuff is a bit. Hmm. Uh, I don't know about more diamond stuff because um, what would they do? Like, obviously they could like diamond hammers, which would be a more powerful like weapon. Um, but diamonds is supposed to be a rare mineral, and I think that I think they have too many good uses um i think that possibly um because if, di if they're gonna keep diamonds so common diamonds shouldn't be uh so protective i think they should possibly change the uh amount of protection the different armors do um i think that diamond armor should like possibly only have like 90% of the armor bar filled rather than 100%. I think netherite should do 100% uh, of the bar filled. Um, but I think that's everybody's questions. So I want to say thank you for you guys being here. And I'll see you next month for May 2023. Uh, the May 2023 Q&A. Bye bye.